Hey, are you a happy person? I mean, are you happy some of the time, all the time? Do you laugh easy? If you were to grade your skits, if you were to grade yourself on a scale of one to ten, where would you fall on the happiness meter? How about joy? Do you feel like you're full of joy? You should if you're a Christian. If you're a Christian, that's the benefit or one of the benefits of being a Christian. Is it because of our relationship with God, we have joy in our life? Hey, my name is Royal. I am in my office in Euless, Texas today, doing my morning devotional for Monday, December the 18th. And this is the Monday before Christmas. The topic is Advent and joy. Let me open us up with the Lord's Prayer. Father in heaven, today may we keep your name holy above every other name. Would you give us what we need to be who you want us to be? Father God, would you forgive us of the things we do wrong and point out the things in our life that we need to change and do right? Lord, may we forgive those who hurt us so we're better and not bitter. And would you protect us from the negative influences and temptations that are all around us? And today, Lord, no matter what happens, good or bad, we will give you glory because we know you want to use everything in our life to mold us to be who you want us to be. We thank you for that. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So in Luke 2, 9 to 11 is the famous uh, verses that the angels came to visit the shepherds on the side of the hill and announce the birth of Jesus, the Messiah, the Savior, Emmanuel, God with us. It goes like this. Suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared among them, and the radiance of the Lord's glory surrounded them. They were terrified, but the angel reassured them. Don't be afraid, he said. I bring you good news that will bring great joy to all people. The Savior, yes, the Messiah, the Lord, has been born today in Bethlehem, the city of David. So you know, if you're a Christian, you know that when... When we become Christians and our sins are forgiven and we are redeemed in our relationship with the Lord, a joy comes. A joy comes. And it, it usually comes in the moment. And it comes in the form of, our, of our, the weight of our past being lifted off our shoulders and the, the void we have being filled with, with God instead of trying to fill it with everything that's supposed to make you happy according to the world and, and what we tell ourselves. But we struggle. We still struggle with joy. We still struggle with being disconnected with God. So I want to give you 10 false beliefs, 10 false beliefs that messes up our joy. That's what I want to start this week off with. First false belief is believing that circumstances have to be just right in order for us to have joy. Second, believing that you need to have the approval of others. Man, we're always seeking to have other people like us and feel good about us, and we try to earn that approval. Number three, believing that you can't change. That's who I am. That's who I've always been. That's called shame. My past is getting in my way. I can't change to be more what God wants me to be. Number four, believing that you're better than others. I see that happen with Christians all the time. They they look down on people for not being Christians and for not having the gift that God has given them. Believing that material things can bring happiness. Number six, believing you are more in, more in control than you are. Believing that you are in control instead of believing that God is in control. That causes worry and anxiety and fear. Number seven, believing that God wants you to be happy all the time. God wants me to be happy. It's my right to be happy. False belief. Number eight, believing that the sins of your past are holding you back. Number nine, believing that it's you that's earned God's favor or believing that you have to earn God's favor. And number 10, this is probably the one that kills most of us, gives us the most problem with the joy in our life. Believing that we can justify the unforgiveness that we have for someone. 
Now, these, the list of these 10 are in the description of this video. And if, if you can think of anything else, please put that in the comments. And this week, the rest of the week, I'm going to talk about how we can keep this joy in our life and how we go about doing that by giving you three different things that are true beliefs that would replace the false beliefs. Here's the prayer that I wrote for today. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for your overpowering love that brings much joy. You sent Jesus to redeem my relationship to you. Since I have you, I can be joyful in all situations. I find my confidence, peace, joy, and love in you thanks to Jesus. I will seek to lead others towards your love and joy. I will be thankful and trust you even in the hard times that come my way. I will focus on you and be grateful for the joy that you give me. Thank you for loving me. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Hey, I hope that encourages you today. Um, my name is Royal, and I will be back tomorrow. The good Lord will and the creek don't rise. If you like this, subscribe or share this with someone else who needs encouraging. If you have any questions or if you have any other false beliefs that you know mess with your joy, put those in the comments and I'll reply. But until then, love God and love people. And God will use you to change the world. I promise. Thank you. God bless.